An emergency due to fire requires immediate passenger and crew evacuation. Modern commercial aircraft are certified to complete the evacuation within 90 seconds, with half the emergency exits unavailable. The Boeing 777 passenger entry door is equipped with two important systems that help expedite the evacuation. Let's start with the emergency power assist system. The power assist system provides mechanical power to reduce the time and effort required to open the door. The system has a dedicated battery pack. The battery is connected to the door position switch. When the handle is moved to the open position, the door lock is released, the switch closes, and allows the flow of electrical power. The power reaches the mode switch. This switch closes when the mode select handle is in auto position. The crew selects the auto position at the start of the flight. The electrical power flows to a pneumatic reservoir. The reservoir has a miniature explosive device, known as the squib. The completion of the circuit fires the squib and ruptures the disc on the reservoir. Pressurized gas from the reservoir flows to the pneumatic actuator. The actuator is connected to a chain mechanism designed to rotate the hinge of the door. The actuator extends and operates the chain mechanism. The door is pushed out by the mechanical force. In an emergency, the crew only has to turn the door handle. The power assist system will take over and open the door. The door-mounted escape slide system has a girt bar located at the bottom of the door. The slide deployment mechanism has two parts. One part is the aircraft floor fitting. The other is the door mechanism. The door mechanism is connected to the mode select handle. When the handle is in manual mode, the door mechanism holds the girt bar. This prevents the escape slide from being deployed when the door is opened. When the handle is moved to auto, the door mechanism hooks, release the girt bar, and allow the floor fitting mechanism to engage. This locks the girt bar to the aircraft floor. Now let's understand how the escape slide deploys. One end of the girt is attached to the girt bar. The opposite end is attached to the folded escape slide pack. When the door lock handle is rotated, the power assist system opens the door. As the girt is stretched, the tension releases the bottom cover and causes the escape slide to drop. When the slide pack drops, it adds tension to an inflation cable. The cable is connected to the inflation cylinder. The tension on the cable rotates the valve to the open position. The gas flows to the escape slide through two aspirators. The aspirator works on the Venturi effect. When the gas from the cylinder passes through the nozzle and flows through a constricted section, its velocity increases and its pressure decreases. As a result, the pressure inside the aspirator drops below atmospheric pressure. The differential pressure creates suction and opens the flapper valve. The ambient air flows to inflate the slide. With the help of the inflation cylinder and aspirators, the slide inflates within 6 seconds. As the pressure inside the slide increases and reaches a specific value, the flapper valve closes. Gas continues to flow from the cylinder into the escape slide. Door numbers 1, 2, 4, and 5 all have the same door-mounted escape slide system, but some versions of the 777 have an additional overwing door. The escape slide installation for this door requires a much more complex mechanism. In the second part, we will understand the functioning of the off-wing escape slide system. Thanks for watching.